Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up Forge on the latest version of Minecraft, which at the moment is 1.11.2, with plugins. So this uses a platform called Sponge, and Sponge is a completely new platform which has been built by developers that uses a separate API for plugins. So you can't use your usual Spigger and Bucket plugins on the server, but you can use a range of plugins which have been developed by developers for the sponge platform so let's get straight into it so one of the first things that we need to do are install forge on our minecraft server if you've done this already you can just skip ahead however let's get straight into it so you need to go to the control panel under this type section there's a little change button here click that then select forge select the version that you wish to install and then select whether you want to remove files or not. I'm going to click yes. If you remove all the files, you can't get them back unless you've backed them up previously. So keep that in mind. And we do recommend removing the server files as it prevents any conflicts or corruptions during the installation of Forge and any mods that you may install or plugins now. So once you've done that, click install. This confirms that you're going to be deleting all the server files. And then it'll begin installing Forge. Once Forge has finished installing, the server will start up and you'll just want to stop it so that there aren't any problems during the installation of Sponge. So we'll stop that. And then what you want to do is go to the Sponge website, which is www.spongepowered.org. And then there'll be a downloads button somewhere on the website. It may change, but at the moment it's in the top right. So that will take you to where to download it. And we're going to be installing Sponge for Forge. So you click the download button under the relevant tab. Now, you're going to select the version of Minecraft which you're running on the Forge server. So in this case, I'm running 1.11.2 as you can see here. So if we go back to this tab, and then in the top right, you'll be able to select the version. So I'm going to select 1.11.2, which is actually an experimental build at the moment. So there are no stable builds out, so I wouldn't really recommend doing this for the latest version. But for 1.10.2, you can install stable versions which should work properly. But feel free to use an experimental build, there just may be a couple of issues during the installation or when you're running it that may cause some plugins not to work fully. So I'm going to download the latest build and we're going to save this to wherever we wish. I'm going to save it to my downloads folder. We're going to wait for that to download, then we need to go back to the control panel for your Minecraft server. Click on file manager and then you want to go into the mods folder. Then we're going to click upload file. And then I'm just going to finish waiting for it to download and I'll be back with you. Now that Sponge has finished downloading onto my computer, I'll be able to continue uploading it. So on the Upload File tab, you go to Choose Files. Then you select the jar file you downloaded earlier. And then you click Upload from Computer. So Sponge has now finished uploading to the server, as you can see here. It should appear as so. Then what you'll need to do is simply start your server. And it should load the server with the Sponge API installed so that you can install specific plugins which I'll go through with you once the server started up correctly. So, once the server starts up correctly, you'll be able to start installing the Sponge plugins. So you can tell the server started up correctly by looking for the done message in the console. Once it's done, go to the Sponge website. And then we're going to go to the section of the Sponge website where you can download plugins. So if you type in or.sponge powered spell that correctly spongepowered.org this is where you can download the plugins that are available for the sponge platform so i'm going to install ultimate core today which is like sort of like the equivalent to essentials it's got a couple of commands like teleports and homes and things like that so you're just going to go to the download tab in the top right over here continue and you should be able to begin downloading the plugin as you can see here so now that's downloaded, we can go back to the control panel, go to file manager, go to the mods folder, not the plugins folder as you usually would with a bucket or speaker server, and then you're going to click upload file, choose files, select the plugin that you want to upload, upload from computer, and then it will begin uploading the plugin, which it has done very quickly, restart the server, and then it should start loading the server with the plugin installed, so I'll get back to you once it's finished starting up. So 
So now that the server has started up successfully, again you can look for the done message to see it started up correctly. You can go to your Minecraft client and launch Sponge. So make sure you select the right profile, which is a bit different on this new launcher if you haven't used it already. And we do have a tutorial on how to install Forge on our YouTube channel for the client. So just go to the YouTube channel if you haven't been able to do this before. Then click play. And it will launch the Minecraft client with, um, sorry, Forge installed so that we can join the server and we'll be able to use the plugins from the Sponge platform. Usually you would use this with a Forge server that has mods on, but in this case I haven't got any on because it's just a tutorial. So now that the game's launched, we'll be able to go to the multiplayer tab, add our server, grab our IP address from the control panel, and we'll just call this um, Sponge Plugin Server with Forge. So now we're just going to type in the address, my YouTube my server.gs, click done. It should come up. So you'll be able to join the server and you can see that the plugins are installed as it's working correctly and you can type commands like slash set, set home uh, plugins and then there you go. So you'll be able to use basic commands like that and you can feel free to go back to the sponge website um, view the commands for plugins like I have been doing here for the documentation um, and yeah feel free to go ahead with that so now I'm just going to show you where you can find the configuration files for the plugins so if you go back to the control panel go to file manager and then in the mods folder usually on a spigot or bucket server there'll be a separate folder that's generated inside the plugins folder for the plugins configuration files in this case it's not generated in the mods folder if you go back to the main directory and then you'll be able to find a folder for the plugin. So in this case, I installed Ultimate Core. So the Ultimate Core plugin folder is here. And then it's got various things inside of here that you can use. So there you go. So that's where you can find the configuration files. And that's all you need to know, really, for a sponge server. If you have any questions or problems, feel free to contact our support. And remember that sponge is in early development. So there may be some problems that you come across, especially if you're using an experimental build. But good luck. If you have any problems, feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching, have a great day and goodbye.